Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my 18 watt Loper Sodium Wall Pack, which is homemade. Now I made this out of the parts from my 18 watt Loper Sodium Ballast Box, and the ballast box was actually only um, a temporary housing for my ballast for to run the 18 watt Loper Sodium Lamp. Now, this is a fixture I found at the restore. I got it for $15, and this fixture was actually all broken when I got it. It was all like a part, it wasn't put together at all. I had to, um, put it to the, uh, together. Now, on the side here, you can find the two screws that hold it in. And this is actually, I had to go out and buy a screw. This is the screw that was missing. And this right here is not the original screw either. So, this lens also has a crack right here. So that was kind of cracked, but it still holds its place. And it's a pretty nice fixture. It's very similar to the, um, my Cooper Lighting Z-Pack fixture. Anyway, I would recommend you watching the 18 watt low per sodium um, ballast box video before you watch this one. Anyway, on here it says replace with complete assembly and not for use in dwellings. On the side we have some hinges, a uh, screw to hold a little clip to hold this thing in, the lens. On the back we have some a heat sink for the um, the capacitors, the, this is where the ballast used to be, and you can see the alloy metal, I'm not even getting it in camera, the alloy metal actually cracked. Now, this feels a lot like plastic, but it's not, it's some sort of um, metal alloy, but anyway, I'll probably um, metal epoxy that shut. And of course, we have the input. Now, there used to be one of these here, but you can um, take them off to install a photo cell or to put a wire in it. So, um, with that anything to say, let's open this up so you can see what's inside. So I've removed the screws, now we can just um, open it up like this, and just pull it off, so that just leaves. And, um, I don't know if I showed you this, but um, it says lamp replacement type HPS, 100 watt, this used to be a 100 watt hypersonic fixture, S54 lamp, 60 hertz. And that's just a water sticker on the side. Now, you can see inside the bayonet socket the Philips 18 watt low sodium bulb and the gear compartment where all the ballasts and igniter and the capacitor used to be. Now the ballast used to be that is this thing that came with it. It's this grand light ballast and it says international power product that's probably the series. It's a uh, quite a good quality ballast and I'm keeping this one as a spare since it works perfectly perfectly fine. Anyway um, you can see the low sodium bulb is a bit floaty when it goes down. That's because the um, it's not floaty right here. That's because it's um, horizontal, and I'm usually having it sitting like this, so I don't want it to go down. But if I ever was going to put it like this, you can see it kind of goes down. I would um, turn the socket so it wouldn't do this. But anyway, you can see on the bulb here, it's a uh, it's a quite a neat bulb. Here's just a quick glance at it. It has a bayonet cap for a base. You can just um, put that in here. And that's basically how it looks when it's open. Now we can turn it on here. There you go. So that's how it looks when it's open. And it looks a lot better in real life. And the camera's not really picking up all the colors it's making right now. But it's um, a pretty nice color. Anyway, let's shut that off and take out the bulb here so I can show you what's inside. So there we go, I've removed the three screws that hold in this little metal plate, and this just comes off like this. And you can hear that it's um quite finicky, and this um was kind of broken as well. It's um, kind of bent up there, but it still kind of works. You can see right here it's a bit warped, but this is very thin um, metal, so I can bend it really easily. Inside, you can see we have all the terminals hooked up. We find the Full and Morgos 2 ballast, and of course the... Um, bayonet socket, which is actually made by a Leviton. And you can see it's glued on by hot glue right there and it's just ran into um, parallel with these two red wires and this um, white wire. Doesn't matter which, um, it's not polarized, so doesn't matter which way you hook it up. So that's pretty much all that's inside for now. And what I found funny is this ballast actually fit perfectly where the capacitor used to be, the capacitor and the igniter. I really found that actually handy, and I actually used the um, bracket that held in the capacitor and the igniter to hold in the ballast, so I found it quite handy. Anyway, let's put this fixture back together so we can turn it on. 
So here's the fixture all assembled. So with no more to say, let's shut this light off and turn it on. Here we go. Now, since it's running on electronic ballast, there is no hum, which I actually kind of like. This light usually takes up, up to 12 minutes to warm up, so I will fast forward to the point when it's fully warmed up. So here's the lamp at full brightness, and it's not too too bright, but it's reasonable for like an indoor accent light, which I'm probably going to use this lamp for. Um, I like I really like low pressure sodium lamps. I like how um I like the colors that they give off, and I like how efficient they are. Another thing I like about low pressure sodium lamps is that they'll do a hot re strike instantly. So if um I turn this off and turn it back on, there's no delay time. So let's just suck the light off here. Here's how much it lights up the room, and it is a lot dimmer in real life, but the cameras, for whatever reason, pick up low pressure sodium lamps as being a lot brighter. Anyway, it looks quite neat with that um, 18 watt low pressure sodium lamp in it. So I hope you enjoyed this video of my 18 watt low pressure sodium wall pack. Thanks for watching.